Jesus said, Ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Welcome to today's program, It's Really Supernatural, Acts of the Holy Spirit. I'm your host, Henry Schaefer. I believe in the supernatural, and God is on the move in these last days. Let's move into the program and see another chapter that could be written in the book of Acts. Well, hello and welcome, CSRA. I'm your host, Henry Schaefer, and welcome to another episode of It's Really in the Supernatural. It is Friday, March the 25th. It is Good Friday, everybody. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 I'm excited Amen. about today. I thank God for all that he has done in our lives. Thank God for Jesus Christ Amen. and all that he yes. did for us to, to redeem us, to be able to perform a plan of salvation. I'm excited about that. Absolutely. But uh, I, I tell a neighbor, tell a friend, let them know that another episode of It's Really Supernatural is on. <laughs> Uh, if you're listening to any other time other than 7 o'clock right now, it is a rebroadcast of the program, so don't try to call in. Don't try to tell us anything. <laughs> yeah. But I want you to know we got a we got a lot of things going on here, a lot of ways you can look into the studio. Yes. Especially you're gonna tonight. Us, you're going to help us out here, brother, on that, what you know, how to get people to connect with us? Well, we can, go to, we can go to you, uh, YouTube and, uh, uh, and type in uh, WCC 99.9, and uh, you can write there, you can uh, – get uh, get us there on youtube uh also you can go to cw christ That's and right. uh, type yeah. cw christ and then uh go there and then you can click on the button yeah, listen live listen right. live button and uh pick us up there uh, and one other way you can do on the same page to go on down a little bit further down they can see the little stream. they yeah. got the little uh, um Screen right there, yeah. live right off our homepage. That's right. You have to look right on into the studio of WCC 99.9 or U, Ustream. Yes, yeah. right. Ustream.tv. They, they download that on their smartphone, Android or iPhone. Get that app from yeah. your store. Right. The, and then the, the uh, you can go app, right to the it. App, cool. The Apple people have to pay for theirs, probably. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, no. well, I'll, I'll stand corrected on that. <laughs> it's of, free. It's top free. of the line is always free. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so uh, uh, anyway, so you can download that, and when you get Ustream.tv loaded, then what you can do, go there and type in WUCC, boom, it pops right. up, and you look it right on into the studio. And, right. Bill, you got something yeah, happening Yeah, tonight right for the first time, and it's all new technology to us, but we're using Facebook Live yeah. tonight. Yeah, we're that's on, right. Uh, we're on Dana live. Turner's Facebook which is my lovely wife, and my Facebook. So if you're friends with us on Facebook, that's Bill Turner and Dana Turner, you can actually watch what we're doing live. Yeah, and just um, log into Facebook and you can and, watch us. Yeah, we don't know. I'm and hoping, hear us. Yeah, I'm hoping you can hear <coughs> Yes, everything. you can hear. It's both. Um, we've got a couple of people joined us already. So. Oh, you got them both ways oh, over there. Yeah, yeah, so give me a second. I'm going to try to see who's joined us. How we about got more that? cameras. Yeah. You take a stick out That's of this right. Place. We sure oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> this is a radio station. Hopefully we've got something to say. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Y'all got to remind me we got all these <coughs> cameras That's in here. right. That's right. Don't forget yeah. that, Gerald. Uh, I don't want to pick my nose or anything. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, Paige Hicks and Drew Sapp are on Dana's all right. Facebook page. Oh. Hey. Hallelujah. Give them away. Hi. Uh, Dawn Campbell Jameson, who's my cousin. That's right. She's all on right. my page. My and cousin. also... It looks like Logan Bryant has joined. All right. Hey, Logan. Well, it's not Bryant anymore, is it? No, it's Spires. <laughs> Spire. Logan Spires. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, listen, we got a great lineup here tonight. Got a lot of people. You heard their voices already, but we got a special guest here in the studio tonight, and I'm going to let Dana Turner, she's in the studio, I'm going to let her uh, introduce the guest that she's brought tonight. And well, we are very excited. And her having... husband just joined. Oh, oh. Paul just joined. Oh. Hey, <laughs> honey. <laughs> He can see you on Facebook. All right. Well, we have a very special guest tonight. Um, she's a dear friend of ours. Her name is April Babb. And, hey, guys. And she Hello. goes to... Uh, Hello, April. Yeah, April. Right. Welcome, April. You. Yay. April. Good stuff. And she goes to Christian Heritage Church. Amen. And they're Amen. part of our radio station family here That's also. Right. Yeah, That's we right. We love them. Love them. Yes. We sure do. Awesome. Stephen Phillips is a good friend of mine. Shout Glad out. Glad to have him yes. part of the WCC 99.9 fm family that's oh, right awesome. amen yes. and um we're going to talk about some supernatural stories and things that have happened in our lives and y'all april's a good storyteller so we can't wait <laughs> for her to get it started yeah tonight's really going to be supernatural of course but Hallelujah. i mean it's just going to be for the goodness of jesus yes Praise the Lord. because this is when it really this got is bad it. this is good friday yeah, yeah. good friday but 
Uh, we way know they treated, Sunday's coming. Yeah, the way they treated him was just brutal. We were watching that again last night. Yeah. 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 We were. It's hard to endure it. But it sure is. The especially world needs to see it. But I try yes. to watch it every year. Yep, me too. Uh, Absolutely. And I was glad when you shared yeah. the, the video of it. Mm-hmm. I took off what I shared it to. Yeah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I want to know when the Ten Commandments is coming off. <laughs> I don't know, Pastor. Should be soon. Well, they do that. Right. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's right. it's this weekend. They right. always show the Ten Commandments. And usually Ben uh, Hurt, you know why? Now, you know why they show the Ten Commandments? Why is that, Pastor? Do y'all know why they show the Ten Commandments? Tell us. And and they do it right here at Easter time or Passover? No. Why? Because they were delivered from Egypt through the Passover. That's right. And they put the blood on the doors. Yeah, you know, that's like right. So that's the first why, Passover, yes. That's why they show that deliverance program. Uh, you know, it's like the Ten Commandments. Oh, why do they do that at that time? That's the reason why they do it. So we don't never want to forget that that is a type of our life, how that we were in bondage to yes. the devil. Yes. Right. Right. We had yes. a Pharaoh over us. Mm-hmm. We thank God for a deliverer they raised up. Who was yes. a deliverer? Jesus. Jesus. But in the movie? Moses. 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 And he's a type of Christ. That's so right. He, huh? I almost said Charles and Heston. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I know he'd appreciate it. And, uh, so they, you know, he came and uh, you know, and and delivered God's people, and then right. through yes. the Passover, Hallelujah. putting the lamb, the blood of the lamb, over the doorpost, and right. of course they getting them ready to go. That's right. I love it when you saw that smoke just kind of like come through the whole place. You know, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, have y'all seen it? Yes. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen it, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm giving it away. Yeah. Hey, I'm giving away the whole thing that's happening, aren't I? You know, you yeah. don't have to pay to see the movie. Right. That's right. That's it. But anyway, that's why they just. I'm going. I want to know when the Ten Commandments is coming on because right, I, right. I love watching that uh, watching that program, uh, especially this time of the yeah, year. Yeah, because it seems the older stuff really followed closely. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, Absolutely. They didn't try to like make it better than mm-hmm. what it already mm-hmm. is. And, and that was really right. a supernatural program that they I, had there. Yes. And then, they, then, of course, then once they, they get out the Red Sea opening up, the big Absolutely. Red Sea, Absolutely. get on yes. downtown. You know, well, that's like a baptism. Favorite. Baptism right. in the Christ, right? Mm-hmm. Going through the Red Sea, right. opening up for us, going across, and then going into the Promised Land. Mm-hmm. But, but we know what happened there. They wandered Amen. in the wilderness yeah. for That's right. for, for many, many times, mm-hmm. for much time that they were there. Anyway, so this is. Uh, I hear some dings going on here. Is that yeah, I, I well, dinner see, bell can, or is that? Well, they uh, can comment on oh, cool. on here. Yeah. So oh, I don't yeah. know. I'll be checking it. You'll be okay. checking the yeah, phone every okay. now and then. So if you if you got a comment question. Just put it out there, and I'll I'll scroll through them in, in cool. just a second. I wow. just kind of awesome? yeah, I don't want to jump in there on because you know and that's I've one, got a face for radio instead uh, of TV. Uh, one so. thing I also want to make sure is that people do this. So y'all help us out on this pro, on the program here. Is that when uh, you go to YouTube after this Amen. is over with, just as soon as we get through with this, it's going to be uploaded to YouTube, and uh, I want you to go there and you can view the program over and over uh, with April Bab on here, and yeah. of course tonight the everybody. And we have a lot of people who go back and they view this again. But don't just uh, view it and like it. You can like it uh, on Facebook or something like that, but subscribe yeah, yeah, to, the, right. YouTube to the YouTube channel. YouTube channel. And the we YouTube channel is Studio WUCC. Yeah. Once you get enough subscriptions there, subscriptions, then we can broadcast straight to there and not have to go through not another through venue. The, right. right. Um, and it, so, it doesn't cost a thing. So. And it's, yeah. it leaves the commercials out, right? Yeah, it leaves the commercials. Yeah. If you yeah. do this, it leaves awesome. all the commercials out every oh, day so that indeed. we can do these things. So everybody so, subscribe. So that yep. 14 seconds is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially right when we told the story. Right. And after we tell the story, then everybody goes, man, that was good. Yeah. And you didn't hear it for that 15 seconds right. that was there. Right. Say, what was that again? You had to go back and watch it go on YouTube. Tell it again. That's right. That's right. All right, so let's talk about some uh, supernatural things. Uh, you know, we talked about, uh, if you think about just a Passover, mm-hmm. you know, the supernatural Passover right. where the death angel came in mm-hmm. and they, right. they they applied the blood, they went in, and the death angel passed by mm-hmm. uh, in that. And, of course, the Bible talks about that there was not one feeble one among them. That's right. 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 When they came out, yes. mm-hmm. there was none that was right. sick. Get That's on downtown. Right. right. None Amen. sick. So That's that was before. eating of the Passover meal mm-hmm. when they went in and they took of the lamb and then that was a supernatural strengthening that was taking place uh, that was going to be there because they were going to need that mm-hmm. that healing right, right. to be able to go out and go into deliverance. So, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to preach on Easter Sunday or Passover Sunday without saying the word deliverance. 
You know, I'm not sure uh, if you can. Well, can, you don't have to. How can you do that? You don't have can to. You do that? I mean, how many pastors preach are going to do it? Preach how many, deliverance. How many please, pastors are going to preach tomorrow? <laughs> they're going to preach about the, I mean, Sunday about the Easter bunny, but never say, to, not, never say the D word. Yeah. Right. Yes, you know, is that right? Mm-hmm. Amen. And it is about deliverance. Yeah. There we go. So, I mean, that's what yeah. Jesus came to do was yes, to, I hate to say the free. word, you know, yes. so. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, this Facebook technology, do y'all want me to just break in and yeah, just jump in any time, bro. Uh, Paul says, I see my lovely wife. Yeah, oh, look at that. <laughs> Tell him if the kids have Happy torn the Easter house to down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Rusty Mc, McTire, you remember Rusty? I do. He's joined in. Hello, Rusty. How you doing? God bless. Rusty. <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and i'm gonna let you kick it off and yeah, then you're gonna you're gonna get some story we've all told our stories right. and over and over and over so we're gonna let uh april tell us some stories yeah we're gonna let her tell us some stories some supernatural things whatever the yep. lord leads you to tell or share with us just feel free awesome. and we'll jump in if we want to and awesome. ask questions or whatever you know okay. one i go ahead and one that you were just telling me as you walked in and say uh I, I, i'm gonna tell you a supernatural story here and i'm going let me tell me what it is here and you were telling me about a time when in your family that uh, someone had uh, a case with eczema. Right. So I'm so, going to let you tell, tell us okay. what happened because it may. Now, without the knowledge that we've had of learning through deliverance, would yeah. make no sense. What, to those who were out there, they would say, we Sad. don't understand That's that. Right. They don't right. understand we need it. To hear so it. Tell, it. tell it. And as you're telling me the story, I'm going to click, 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 click. Amen. It's right. Amen. Right. So go ahead and tell us so, that story. So it's, it's interesting. Um, as I was thinking of coming tonight, I was telling the kids, you know, and my seven year old little girl said, Mommy, please tell the story about my healing. And I said, You know, I, w- I haven't thought about that in so long. Yeah. And I actually oh. uh, agreed to do that. And I actually called her over and said, Let me just see it again because it's so awesome. I right. forgot. You What's know, her name? But her name is Bella. Hey, Bella. And <laughs> so, what's happened with Bella was that, and I didn't mention this earlier when we were talking, but Bella's our number three out of num- out of five children. Bless and you. <laughs> yeah, and ever since she was born, we found ourselves using the the words like, "Oh, she's the middle child, so she'll probably feel left out, or she'll, you know, all of these things that we don't even realize what we're saying." Right. Okay, speaking over word her, curse. yeah, word yeah. curses, yes. absolutely. So that's just kind of the backdrop of this story. She had eczema her whole life, and eczema is a skin condition that causes scaly itchy um rashes all over where was it at on her really bad for her it was on the cracks of her arms and Mm. the backs of her legs okay okay and it was to the point to where it was scarred it the tissue wouldn't even tan so it was big white patches Mm -hmm. of of skin did it it ever bleed right there too yeah it would crack and bleed and all that so we had prayed over this for years really and just cursed it and everything else and one like every church like like every pentecostal church church uh-huh. and every church that believes in healing or right. anybody who not even do. pentecostal we just know what to do some will let me say this some will pray oh god heal or some yeah. take them to the doctor right uh, and then they pray uh-huh. or then some will pray bring them to the altar uh-huh. and we'll pray and anoint them with right. oil uh-huh. and never see come on the no. healing take come place right. but right. god so, showed you yeah so what he what he showed me was april you are to be spirit-led you are not to be formula led. You are to be led by my spirit. And so one night I was laying in bed and I was just focusing on resting in the Lord and just learning about peace and rest. And so I'm laying there and he spoke to me and said, go to Bella now. She was asleep. It was midnight. Lay your hands on her and I'm going to tell you what to say. No, he's, no, he's going to tell you exactly what exactly to say. Exactly what to that? say. Okay, I'm going to so, tell you what to say. That's, yeah. That's what and I'm so it was <laughs> awesome. I went in. She was asleep. I mean, it was the perfect picture of rest, you know. I laid my hands on her and immediately it came to me about... About rejection and, and I'm thinking well I'm thinking I'm in here to pray over her skin and so I laid my hands on her and I just said spirit of rejection which is the Lord what the Lord had me to say yeah. I command you to release her now in the name of Jesus I bind you I cast you out of her you know and I went back to bed and slept like a baby and um, over the next two or three days the Lord revealed to me the word curses that we had spoken unknowingly mm. over our right, daughter right. of well she's the third child she's and she cried all the time more than her eczema she had anxiety Mm. she always said mommy do you love me like the others just constant and i would had to reassure her over and over and so the lord showed me that that's what the root for her was and that over the next two to three days not only did her eczema disappear not only did the white patches disappear but she gained a confidence to where she i didn't notice her saying do you love me mommy do you love me do you love me right but she started saying mommy i know you love me i know you love me 
And yes. so the miracle that, that he did for her, for us, yes. just right. was amazing. And I posted pictures on Facebook, now, you know, of her skin just as pure and new as a baby's bottom. Well, I got but the goosebumps. It, right it's now. just yeah. awesome what now. the Lord has done, you know, just a small I, thing. Go ahead. No, thing. Go, stay oh, to the mic. Oh, um, but, you know, for her to say, Mommy, will you share that tonight? Yes. I said, yeah, I actually, and I, I'm not going to say I had forgotten about it, but the Lord does so many mighty things yes. daily. Amen. Yes. It's hard to keep up, so I just want to encourage you today. That's right. Uh, what did the doctor say? Oh, he it's gone. It's you know the doctor didn't have to say anything because no I didn't. Huh? No, no I didn't. He's okay. a godly man, but I didn't right. even ever mention it to and, him again. Uh, you, you, <laughs> testimony. Did you tell the testimony in church? Well, I told it on Facebook. I've told it to everyone that I could possibly and now tell she's it to. Telling it on yeah. radio. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, now can can we dissect it a minute? Yeah. Let us dissect because you know right when you That's walked awesome. in, you were telling me. Mm-hmm. I see because you know we you know God has really shared with us about deliverance uh-huh. right. and uh you know and you you're telling the story about how she was healed of eczema mm-hmm. but god says i'm going to show you exactly what to pray right yeah, so through a yeah. word of knowledge yeah you know and that's a uh baptized in the holy ghost that's, yes. tongues, that's right yes is that's one of the gifts that come he gives you the information you need right now right yes. for that for that Absolutely. for that moment mm-hmm. that what you need to say but he also shares uh, with you that it was go in there and cast out a spirit of rejection. Right. Now, first of all, let's just think about this here, is that many Christians who were listening across with this here will not do not believe a Christian can have a spirit. They're cause, wrong. That can They're ca- wrong. <laughs> causing sickness. You see what right. I mean? They do not believe a Christian can have a spirit, whether it's uh, in them, on them, around them, whatever, is that, but God showed you to cast out Absolutely. this spirit of rejection Absolutely. Yes. so you cast out the spirit of rejection yes, and then her eczema uh you know disappears that's right disappear. so here's Praise what here's God. what we know about about deliverance and we have done this you know for what the last year and a half yeah. whatever <laughs> and god has really really uh you know uh trained us that's and right. brought us along very very quick so when you're telling the story we know what's happening that's right so when he say so you're gonna you'd be going in there praying for eczema that's which the fruit. E- but eczema is it can be a spirit right it's a spirit mm-hmm. right. as well mm-hmm. but it's tied to that's right rejection that's right so a lot of times what we know is that when we're taking pers- people through deliverance and a spirit of rejection will come up and you say well i just don't believe they can talk to you well that's because you have a spirit of doubt, doubt, doubt yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so but we know so we'll say uh a rejection what do you bring to this body do you bring any sickness wow. if it says no it doesn't bring any it just brings that rejection, you know, right. that nobody that loves me, of rejection, and that right. all, and that torment right. in your mind. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know, the torment, because they're yes, going to always constant. come to torment. Right. It'll be torment. Right. I'm That's always right. rejected. Yes. But if it brings sickness, it'll say, "I bring sickness." Well, what is it? You say, "I bring eczema." Wow. There you go. So there you say, "In the name of Jesus, I bind to myself, bind to the self," because it's the one that's over it. Right. Uh, yeah. Eczema, rejection, and when rejection comes out, it takes the takes eczema it. with it. That's right. You see, yeah. that's how we do this yeah. here. And learn it, but you see, as God has taught us this, mm-hmm. then on the other side, you are where we were at, mm-hmm. and we didn't understand mm-hmm. all of these the aspects of it like that because we would pray for people, right, and and would have say depression, right, uh, and say you spirit of depression come out of this mm-hmm. person, now, and you know I never had a problem praying for anyone, you know that right. was a Christian, you know say well I'm I'm battling depression, Pastor, I said, well you stand right here. You spirit of depression, come out of this woman now. You right. have no authority. This is a child of God. Get out in the name of Jesus. And there would be a manifestation. Mm-hmm. There mm-hmm. would be a manifestation of a, of a scream or what have you. But one time, I'm going to give you the supernatural story. As I, and I didn't know this then. you got to realize I did not know this. Mm-hmm. So I am at the altar and I'm praying for a woman. And I said, she, I said, what are you battling, ma'am? You know, like they're going to come Sunday. Right. So uh, are, what, are, what are you struggling with? And uh, she's, she's, you know, she says, I'm battling, um, I'm struggling with depression. And most pastors say, well, you can't be battling depression because you're a Christian. How can you be battling depression? Huh? Just think positive mm. things. Mm. But Mm-mm. no, she says, I am battling depression. Mm-hmm. I said, that's not a problem. I said, you spirit of depression. No, I said, you say this here. You say it. She's a Christian. I said, you say, in the name of Jesus, say it. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. The spirit of depression. The spirit of depression. To loose me. To loose me. And let me go. And let me go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then I looked at her and I said, you spirit of depression, turn this woman loose now in the name of Jesus. And immediately when she did that, 
All of a sudden, as she raised her hands, I said, now come out in the name of Jesus. All of a sudden, her saliva glands, mm -hmm. listen, her saliva glands, mm -hmm. her whole front of her dress mm -hmm. got soaked, right. got soaked <clears throat> all in here. We well, see, I'm going, man, I never seen anything like oh, that. Yes. We well, see, I never seen anything like that. So that happens. As mm -hmm. now we are learning about deliverance mm -hmm. and being taught about deliverance, one of the supernatural signs of deliverance is saliva oh, yeah. glands yes. releasing. Yes, yes. They, they just, they just expelling. vomiting, yeah. expelling. Oh, yeah, those the are saliva awesome glands signs. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But see, I'm going before I'm going, man, i never seen anything like mm -hmm. that. So it's supernatural. Yeah. Right. You know what right. I mean? So that is a with your eczema yeah. story. You were where we were at. That, you know that's I mean? pretty awesome, wasn't it? You, yeah, you're seeing what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Is that now we understand? Because mm -hmm. I didn't know what the sign of it, what it was as far as the release uh -huh, of it. Uh -huh. So the more stories we yes, can tell to each other, that's right. And the more things that you we learn from each you other. learn from each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. is that you can be praying. Just say, just say someone has cancer. Mm -hmm. They have cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, we we're praying against cancer. Why aren't they healed of cancer? Why aren't they healed of cancer? What if it's a spirit of frustration? Mm -hmm. That brought the cancer. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to deal with cancer. Or bitterness. Or bitterness. Which mm -hmm. I've seen that. Yeah, with mm -hmm. bitterness. And then uh, they never mm -hmm. heal of the cancer until right. you get with rot. Right. you got to get rid of the root. That's right. And okay, they have go to ahead. repent. So there well, we go. What we got, right. Right. That's right. we got some more viewers. Um, we got Mike Johnson. Uh, Fred Yay. Powers. Hello, Fredo. Mike. Fred. Yeah, Fred's been on uh, Heartbeats before, so he's been on here. Glad to have him. Brian, Brian Gibson. Paula Tyler. Uh, Patricia McRae. Susan Allen and Scarlett wow, Wright. Wow, that's Yay. a lot of people. Those are a couple yeah, of my the customers. Lines, and they're yeah, still no, going. No, they're no, still no, going no. over there. So, <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I, I guess we got to get our cameras tied Crazy. to Facebook, don't we? That's right. We, we do. Facebook, how we're gonna right. Do. And once again, awesome. this program's called It's Really Supernatural. Supernatural. That's right. So if you're hearing stuff you hadn't heard before. Keep or, listening. You'll yeah. hear some more. It's yeah. normal for Jesus. <laughs> that's right. It's normal, normal Christianity. Normal for Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Tell us normal. something else. You and I think uh, someone once said it's in the Bible. That's it, right. It, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's in the Bible. Bill, that's Bill Turner's that's tagline. Yeah, that's good. If that's I, I need to get him one to, of my many. I need to get him to do <laughs> one of the uh, IDs or a commercial. Uh -huh. If you ever ever struggle with anything, just remember. It's, it's in, in the, the Bible. Bible. It's in the Bible. Because like people will say else. something, you know, deliverance or whatever. Right. And oh, Bill says, weird. well, it's in the Bible. Well, Jesus right. did it. Yeah. About a third of his ministry. So. Yes, yeah. that's right. Um, or or, or uh, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. Mm. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. That's right. And that's it's not that I have is. to. It's that I get, get to have exactly. his spirit. That's exactly. right. Also, yes. that's if someone wrote a check for $4 million, I wouldn't say, well, I only want $1 million. I don't want the whole. I want it all. Right. That's right. Exactly. Every bit of it. And that's well, all we're saying. It's in the Bible. It's so in the Bible. It's okay. And if you choose just to be saved. Well, and you can go to on, heaven. Go ahead. Yeah. Here's but, the thing. Here's the thing is that what we understand is that Passover takes place. Uh, Jesus is on the earth for uh, another um, 40, 40, 40 days, days. Mm -hmm. and 10 days. So we're talking about 50 days mm -hmm. total that uh, he tells him to go to the upper room and wait and, and wait. wait to the to the mm -hmm. uh, to Pentecost. You know, we're, we're talking about the Passover now. Right. The Pentecost is going to be coming. And these yes. disciples who were in the upper room with him. And he's already told them what they need to do. He says, these signs will follow, follow them, that, them believe. that believe. That's right. He gives them the name. signs. Yep. He tells them their commission. Yes. He says, now, but before you go, Can't go wait, yet. Can't go, wait go, yet. go to the upper room. Mm -hmm. And they went to the upper room and they were waiting there. How many days? 10 days. Yep. 10, Ten. days in the mm -hmm. upper room because he was with them 40 days talking. And right. then Acts 1 and 8, he tells them that you were, shall receive See power, power after the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost has come. Upon. So yeah. they go into the upper room, wait 10 days, and then they come out. And they're empowered with the Holy Spirit. They be, they get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yes. And they have now that supernatural power. So that's where the church, uh, you know, the, the, there is a step. Mm -hmm. Is that yes. the salvation takes place? Yep. And you know, and the Holy Spirit is with you. There's yes. no doubt about right. that. Right. But there is an upper room experience. Yes. That is for everybody, that's right. and that is the empowering that's right. of the Holy Ghost. Absolutely, that the, mm -hmm. the disciples got it, and they received the power of God to be able to move out into their ministry. And one of the signs was they will speak with new, new tongues, tongues. Right. and that's the empowering. You know, we can't teach the whole thing here, right. but mm -hmm. the reason why so many churches don't ha aren't operating in that's it because right. they don't have the power. Right, right. And then the other part of it is, you ready for this? That they do have the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They have been baptized in the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost, uh -huh. but they don't believe in none of it. Right. They mm -hmm. have it. They don't believe in 
they don't believe that they can pray in tongues. Right. They don't believe that they can be used in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They yep. don't believe in casting out demons because right. they don't believe nobody can have them. Because you can't they're, have them, right? Yeah, <laughs> and they're going to ca- they're going to cast demons out of unsaved people. Right, I'm right. going, not me. That's right. That's nuts. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I ain't going out there and cast them out of unsaved people. Well, I knew I was changed when uh, a dear friend of mine passed away, and um, his service was at a Presbyterian church. Yeah. I said, Lord, Lord. Yeah, yeah it was so funny. Somebody uh, raised I wanted to raise my hand said, and say, hey, man, thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. And, you know, you, you can't do that. Right. You know, everybody was sitting there, and, you know, I felt so constra- constrained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, and he come mm-hmm. home you know, and told me, right. and he said, I felt like I couldn't It was couldn't a beautiful service. The pastor did mm-hmm. a wonderful job. I mean, just a wonderful job. But I felt, I felt bad for him. After I left, yeah. because they can't. Because they don't have the freedom. Right. They don't have the freedom. And that's yeah. my whole thing. And where is the spirit the of the Lord is, there's liberty. Right. That's right. right. That's right. Right. Well, let's get April to tell us another yeah. good right. one. <laughs> another good one, <laughs> April. What, it, you have that. I want to jump in and say something. Say something. <laughs> well, I mean, I was looking, at, listening to what he was saying, and it just kind of took me back to being like I'm, I may get arrested if I, you know. Uh, that's right. right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's right. If I started to, you know, just really allow the Holy Spirit to have oh, its way. Oh, yeah. You're right. going to get cut with their eyes. Uh, and it's good to be, you know, <laughs> to be, you know, to go to church and Amen. be with fellowship and actually, you know, you know right. have the right. liberty right. to, to we share have, the gospel. You know, you now, know. when you come to church service at University Parkway, when you come there, uh, there's no telling what's going to happen Absolutely. when you come. It's, yeah. It is not church as normal. <laughs> and uh, I think it was like two Sundays ago. I can't remember what song they were doing, whatever they were doing. But I'm telling you what, we have a couple of people in the choir when they broke loose. Yeah. They were doing the helicopter spin. Yeah. There, you know, and, so, and, and, and some of them, some of them, like they're doing the axe. You know, they're, yeah. they're chopping wood. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, chopping wood. But they're doing something there. And next thing you know, they break out. People start running into church, and I'm and talking about dancing in the all altars. across. It was and I'm talking about they had about 30 people at the altar, and they were just. Yeah. All across the front, just worshiping God. Now that is having church. Now, yeah, but what's yeah. really impressive is you keep right on preaching. Oh yeah, uh-huh. there we that's go. what amazed me Pastor when we first started stop. going there. Because you know? right I came from a Presbyterian background. Wow. For those that didn't know, um, I mean, the first time we were in there, there was all kind of stuff going on, and he kept right on preaching. That's awesome. I like, that was impressive. That's probably what Peter did. That's right. <laughs> right. He didn't let it stop him. I had to tell him that, and, and at the end, I can't remember what we were preaching, but somebody was getting wild over. I said, I want y'all to know we are not holding anybody down. We are not <laughs> goosing them to make right. it. And that is not a soundtrack. That is a, that is a real person in the church. And they are, the they are having fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was all awesome. Praise the Lord. Stuff. Good so stuff. you got something here? Okay. Hey, yeah, we got so, another one here for us? So another one. And, and, you know, I have several stories that are just those mind-blowing stories and all, but the Lord just is leading me to this one and it's very simple and basic but he says that there's people listening tonight that just need to hear from a normal person just walking on the street and how they can be used by God so I'm going to encourage you with this I was at work one day and um, had a few awesome opportunities to be offended if you know what I mean you know there's just chances in life Smith Wigglesworth said that they're just awesome opportunities to be offended you have to let them go and so it's like out of nowhere I just got slapped in the face repeatedly by some really close friends and I I felt my flesh and the sin nature just rising up and right there there was a friend of mine that said April love them up love them up and she just caught me right there and wouldn't let me and then it happened again an hour later with someone else just out of nowhere and she was right there and just said love them up and I was I felt led to go visit a patient upstairs at work and I almost didn't because of the instances that just happened but Mm -hmm. I really felt like the Lord led me so when I went upstairs um, the patient wasn't there but her granddaughter was along with a baby and the Lord gave me a word of knowledge for her and honestly now it's difficult to even remember whenever the Lord gives you those you know you don't retain them but I gave the lady a word and then even over her baby and she was crying and I was crying and I asked her what was her name and she said my name is April and she was looking at my ID badge and she was just crying saying my name is April I said well that's awesome what's your baby's name and she said destiny and I walked out of the room and the Lord said that April has birthed her destiny through obedience and I said wow that's amazing so I got on the elevator to come back down at work and a lady was on the elevator with me and I had been wanting to pray for the sick in public for a while uh-huh. and this lady just like was glued to me and just talking to me and opening up to me and I saw that she was limping and April let me stop uh-huh. you real quick for a second just so people know april is a nurse and you work at which uh-huh, hospital? university hospital, university hospital. So uh, don't know she's yeah talking. so this lady is just i've never met her she's limping and she's opening up to me and just talking about her family and i said 
would you mind if I prayed for your knee? And she said, well, I guess so. And the Lord just had me lay my hand on her knee right there at my workplace and just say, knee, be healed in the name of Jesus, pain, go. And I took my hand off and I said, move your knee, test it out. And she she did. And sure enough, she looked at me with these eyes big as quarters and said, I don't understand. I don't understand. The pain is gone. And a few hours later that same day, I encountered someone else and prayed over them and told their pain to go. And it left. The end of that day, I had prayed over eight people that yes. all had their pain go. And I remembered back on those opportunities to be offended early earlier in the day. And I want to encourage anyone listening, this may not sound as supernatural as some of the other stories, but when you are called by God, you will have an opportunity to be offended, to be hurt, to be uh, held down by those things, and it will stop you in your call. And so I encourage you, I encourage you tonight to not allow that, just to love them up. And so that day I got to see eight people healed by the end of the day. And we're talking talking about in like six hours, you know, and so it didn't seem spectacular sometimes I think we're looking more for spectacular than miraculous and many things that Jesus did that were miraculous might not have appeared spectacular right but people were healed and walked away cleansed or whatever so I say we go after the miraculous yes. and sometimes it's spectacular and sometimes it appears you know not in not that so way spe- right right um I saw a man healed he was in a coma for three months And I was asked to pray for him by a family member that was not saved and very Uh anti-God. And so I took it as an opportunity to pray for this man and to hopefully let the Lord see her, uh, show her his miraculous power. So I prayed for this man that was brain dead by every test possible. He was brain dead for three months and he woke up and I got to read the doctor's report that said the nurses think that this man is awake, but there is no way he's responsive. And the next day had to write a new report that said, truly, he is responding. Praise and God. he gave his life to the Lord. Um, and well, so how did, just how did you pray like over that. Him? I prayed over him just as simply as I could. And I actually prayed over him with a new believer. And we just spoke to him and told him to wake up in the name of Jesus. We told him to be healed in the name of Jesus. And this girl that I'm mentioning, I think her story was just as miraculous. She was a friend of his from the bars. I met her in the room. I started loving on her day after day after day. And she told me, she said, you know, I used to serve God. And she gave her heart back to the Lord. And she was the one holding his hand when he woke up. Yes. And she is serving God hot on fire today. Yes. She uh, every day uses her Facebook as an opportunity to witness Amen. to those same yes. bar crowd. But so there's miracles all around us. We just have to love people with the love of God and show his power through our lives. Absolutely. Yes. But yeah, it was awesome. Stuff what? like that all the time. Amen. Have some more updates. Go ahead, brother. Because <laughs> I want to uh, dissect the miracle. Yeah. yeah we're going to dissect in just a second. We uh, got you, Eva Shedd all the way from Pensacola. Pensacola. Hey, uh, Eva. Forever, forever. Uh, Donna Castricone, April right. Chapman, Holly Jackson, uh, Jeff Hawkins, Debbie Matei, uh, Lewis and Ann Rose. All right. Tina Hello, Richardson. Everybody. Carolyn Collier. Wow. Carolyn Collier. Yeah, mm-hmm. And Shepherds of Grace. We got National. more people. All right. We got more Facebook people. Live. Got a people watching this on here. Facebook. Is All there right. anybody out there listening on the radio? Honk your horn if you are. Yeah, once, once again, this is all new to us. So uh, if we're doing it wrong or. Let's do this here. Yeah, Hope so, you're enjoying it. 803 335 3131. Call in. If there's somebody listening. Call in. Yeah, call <laughs> on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Let, Let us, us know, know. We're doing. Well, they can do it, I guess, uh, off of Facebook, too. But yeah. Yeah. 803 yeah, if you put a comment in, I'll, I'll see it. The furthest one so. away is what we're looking for. The uh, furthest person away. Be well, it could, be, right, it could be in this room here or going to another room, but 803-335-3131. Give us a call. And excuse a comment, excuse a my head as I'm going by the cameras because it kind of <laughs> it blocked one whole view. Y'all watch this. So. One. That's okay. That's okay. We'll keep watching. Okay, it. so let's talk. Let's talk a minute. Let's talk about the the miracle here. The, let's do the pain. Okay, we deal with the pain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's what we've seen with the pain. Is uh, I know a person that we dealt with who had a pain in the arm mm-hmm. for over a year. Okay. And we prayed and prayed and prayed. Mm-hmm. And I came to the altar. I said, I am not going to pray over your arm uh-huh. like I always have before. Right. I said, Here's what I want to do is I want to pray over this like we know how to do it. So I, I guess he show me where it is. It's in the elbow. Mm-hmm. Got the anointing oil, mm-hmm. and I touched him. I said, in the name of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ and Nazareth, I command this pain to come out now in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. Immediately, the, the man goes, the pain's gone. Mm-hmm. Right. The pain's gone. He's right. had that for a year, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we have prayed many, many times. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lesson out of that 
but understanding that I know that it can be a spirit of pain. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to say, Lord, heal this pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you got to realize that you can't, you got to address it the right way because there is kingdom and there's order. Well, it could be, it could be just pain, physical Mm -hmm. pain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, and the thing too is that, but, in that, you have to realize that there's a there's a flesh problem, right? Uh-huh. That you got to pray for, right. For that to happen, right? So here, so I hear the same thing you're telling me. Six or eight people, mm-hmm. whatever you pray for for the pain, mm-hmm. and you said it. So mm-hmm. I'm going. You were praying for pain to be healed, mm-hmm. but you said pain what? Go, go. So you're telling the spirit, right, yeah. to go, to go in the name of Jesus, right. and it's obeying you, yeah. right, uh, in that because you have the authority to do it. That's right. Here, here's what happens is that spirits know uh-huh. whether you have faith yeah mm-hmm. and so a pastor can stand there That's right. and do all this stuff and have no faith yeah. in it right. you know what i mean right have no faith mm-hmm. they know they respond to one thing what faith faith, faith. Yes. faith the authority of jesus christ yes. spoken in faith right you know in faith yeah. because mm-hmm. demons believe yeah that, you absolutely. can just say but jesus then it's not but, saving faith right Mm-hmm. So they know whether you have faith or not. And the thing is, is that once you, this supernatural world opens up yes. to you, mm-hmm. yes. you realize that what I'm dealing with here. You pray is a, differently. Is, you will you pray do. different. Yes, you do. I do not pray the same anymore. No, right. me neither. Not one bit. Yeah, no. we had, now, we had a lady that called yesterday from Kentucky. Mm-hmm. After we're doing the show, like right now, she came for call from Kentucky. And she says, I'm having problems and I need prayer. And she said, she got, she said I'm just amazed that you answered the phone. <laughs> Her, my phone right. now it's an hour and a half it's not a simple prayer mm-hmm. it's an hour and a half mm-hmm. i'm praying with her over the phone uh-huh. and told her you know she's traveling down the road i said are you traveling down the road she goes yeah i said ma'am it's not gonna work you're gonna have, you're to, gonna, stop. You're gonna have to stop <laughs> <laughs> because when i start praying for you it's not gonna be like all these other people praying for you it's mm-hmm. gonna mm-hmm. there's gonna something gonna happen Shift. Yeah. right there's gonna yeah. be something happen when mm-hmm. we get ready to That's pray right. for you so she said i'm five minutes from the house so she calls Gets to the house. I said, now, where are you at? She said, I am in the restroom, bathroom. I said, anybody there with you? She said, my son's in here at the house, 11 years old. And I said, okay, are you ready to start praying? And I started praying for pain mm-hmm. that she had in her side. That's why she was calling. She mm-hmm. was just absolutely frightened and started praying. I said, you know, we're just speaking to it. And I made her say it. Say, I, I command this pain to come out of me now in the name of Jesus. The sound of the most pastors don't believe this. So they can't, they ain't going to, they just go, oh, Jesus. Lord, please. Oh, Lord, please, please heal the please. pain. Oh, yeah. pain. Heal the pain, right. Lord. Oh, right. And that, people. Yeah, touch your people. And, you know, you you did it at the cross. Oh. And I'm going, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. There, he, he didn't say that that would be a sign. He said this would be the sign. Right. This would be the sign that they would cast out demons, demons and lay demons. hands on the, the sick, sick, and they'd they recover. recover. Mm-hmm. Cast out demons, lay hands on the sick, and they recover. Yep. So, so I'm praying over her, and uh, and she says, I feel this. It's, she says, I feel so strange. It's moving, moving in my body. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's moving from this side to my back and That's up right. my shoulder. I'm going, okay. And, I, and I'm and i dealing with saying pain come out, pain come It's not coming out. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, I'm not seeing any manifestation. There is a manifestation of it moving, but yeah. nothing happening. Uh-huh. And I said, oh, oh, I said, let me ask you this. I said, has anybody ever told you that you were stubborn? <laughs> and she said, yes. And I said, let's do this here. Say, I break the word curse of stubbornness that's been spoken over my life. Mm-hmm. You ready for this? I said, now you renounce the spirit of stubbornness. Yes. And I said, stubbornness, come out of this woman. Yes. Come out of this woman. Next thing you know, boom, there we yep. go. Yeah. Yep. There yep. it comes. And I said, and then all of a sudden, I said, I said, I see what's happening here. I said, I'm going to do this a, a deliverance over the phone like uh-huh. we know how to do if we were in their room. We started with unforgiveness. Uh-huh. Boom, it came out of her. Right, right. But we did a hurt, deep hurt. A wounded spirit. I mean, we we going right down the line. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, all of a sudden, as we, an hour and a half later, we get to a strong man that's in her. I said, mm-hmm. I want to know who the strong man in this yeah. body is. Right. And I said, what are you hearing? She says, I hear the name frustration. Mm. I said, frustration, come out of this woman now. And I said, and all of a sudden, this voice changes. Now all mm-hmm. these people say, I don't believe this here. I'm it's going, true. that's it's true. why you don't believe. That's why <laughs> nothing happens. Then all, this woman's in Kentucky, and she's never been in our deliverance session. <laughs> right. All of a sudden, she starts saying this here. Uh, frustration, frustration. Everybody frustrates uh-huh. me. I don't know why I'm yeah. always frustrated. Why you know, are these people are frustrating me? Uh-huh. And that, there's that strong there's that man. There you yes. go. Yes. And all of a sudden, this thing starts to come out. Yes. And next thing you know, after an hour and a half, she says, what is this coming out of me? Yes. I was coming out. I said, ma'am, I said, you are being set yes. free. Yes, absolutely. We were being set free. Yes. Yes. She was set free from the pain. She was set free it's from fear, thing. fear, doubt, worry, this unbelief. You yeah. know? Now, she's still going through some things That's because right. it's some physical things sure, that right. she sure. needs healing Patterns, for. Sure. Yep. But it's not physical thing. Mm-hmm. 
like the eczema, mm-hmm. a physical thing with a spirit tied to it, yes. and right. can't, don't understand why it can't come out. That's Absolutely. Right. Why can't she be healed? Yeah. Right. You know, what's the problem here? And God's people are in such bondage mm-hmm. because they, 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 they're not equipped. Mm-hmm. The pastors aren't equipped. The people aren't equipped. It takes people like mm-hmm. April. Uh huh. Those who are Amen. out there, I mean, she's in the right place at the hospital. Yes, yes. you know, Thank like you, the Lord. the uh, uh, the man that woke up. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had a uh, we had Eddie Mori, one of our uh, ministers, we went to Lexington Hospital. We went to Lexington. Mm-hmm. Did this? Did, he did this right oh. here. Uh, they called him and said, "Won't wake up." Been and in there's there for no s- medical reason though. Oh, I've had that before. Yeah, yeah. And I've had that before. I said, "Here's what you mm-hmm. do: go in there and you say this here. You spirit that's causing him mm-hmm. to be in this coma, not yes. to wake up. You come out of him now and turn the man that's loose." Right. And it was in two hours. The man yeah. was awake eating ice cream. Yeah. yeah. We had a young lady that had CT scans and everything. They couldn't understand why because she just had a simple procedure. And actually, one of the doctors kind of consulted me on it. He's like, what do you think this is? She's in the ICU. She's unresponsive. She's growling at people and making noises, and there's nothing. They can't find anything. And this was years ago. I said, "Um, well, if you really want to know, it's a demon. He said, I knew it. Should I go in there with a cross or something? I said, no. (laughs) He said, look, he says, will will you? I mean, this is is the doctor. Doctor. He said, now look, he says, he says, will you go in there? And my mind is going, nope, nope, no way. And and I said, yep. And I said, where did that come from? (laughs) And um, I go in the room to this 18 year old, beautiful young woman just laying there hooked up to everything. Nobody knows what's wrong with her. And her mom's over there. And I start praying with her. And she starts manifesting and growling and everything else. Well, of course, then manifesting and growling, identify, identify. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, spewing and spitting and fighting and I yeah, mean, that's a demon. And so, that's a demon. She's probably a Christian too. Could be. Yeah. And so, well, here's the story. Fifteen nurses come in, and there's not an opportunity right then to really do any kind of exactly. Effort. So here's what I did. I met yeah. with Mama, and yeah. I got Mama a devotion and talked with Mama and prayed with Mama. And the next day, that girl woke up and left. Now I'm not taking any credit. Someone else could have come in, but I only do. I did what I knew I could do because sometimes you are limited based on oh, where you are and knowledge and and, 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 well, and wisdom right. and wisdom. And so that is to encourage you guys out there as well. If you don't know where to start. Start somewhere. That's right. right. Pray for someone. Amen. Ask the Holy Spirit in you to lead you, and yes. He will. He'll yeah. teach you. Let me, uh, tell you, let me tell you what. Uh, real so quick, let me, let ahead, me say uh, welcome to Michael Robinson and Eleanor Wells. Hey, oh, Michael. hey, Eleanor. Oh, hey, everybody. Facebook Hello. Live is yeah. great. Looking right at you there. <laughs> okay, so um, here's, what I, here's, what, here's what I hear. What I'm hearing here is that um, most people do not believe that a spiritual being can be afflicting people. You know, they say it would be very, very, very rare, Mm-mm. rare. No, and I say this here. Well, pastor, do you believe that there's a demon behind every bush? No, I do not. I believe that there are 10, 10 <laughs> yeah. behind right. every bush. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> there's right. 10 yeah. or more yeah. yes. behind every yeah. one of us yeah. out there. So, right. And the thing, too, is that uh, do I believe that mm-hmm. most sickness is caused by a demon? Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. Yes. And the more that I have started to pray with people right. is you that if, if you go in there and assume that it's not a – how do you know if it's not a spirit? How do you know? Unless right. it's a supernatural word. Right. You right. know what I mean? And, and, and I have found out, I have found out that if I assume it's not a spirit – they may not get healed. Right. That's right. But if I address, it's like throwing a hand grenade mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. over into a foxhole. Mm-hmm. If you address the spirit and no, no there's no manifestation, then, then, then it's you, not there. Right. That's then you right. pray for then their you healing. Pray, for, pray right. for their healing. But if you just pray That's for right. their healing, like she did with eczema, mm-hmm. and it's for tied to rejection, yeah. right. tied yeah. for rejection, right. she'll never get healed. Right. And I heard someone saying, I loved it, treat every sickness as a person. Yes. I understand Isn't that. Isn't that awesome? That is yes. awesome. Yes. Can I give a quick story? Sure. This is, and I'm just going to lay my own self out there. It was a few weeks ago, and um, I've had knee problems before, but I got completely healed of that. The Lord just wiped it away years ago but by his anointing. But a few weeks ago, I'm just going to air this out there. I was disrespectful to my husband. I just wasn't. I didn't I just wasn't respectful to him like I should be and I got to work and do y'all know my knee started hurting Mm. it has not hurt since the night that the Lord radically healed it and the Lord started saying you need to call your husband because you are not bowing you know you are not submitting to him and that is a that is what you have allowed in and I called him and I said honey listen I'm so sorry I was disrespectful to you I was worn down I was tired I raised my voice and the moment the phone hit the 
phone jack, my knee pain left. We can open doors to the enemy being saved. He uh-uh. will come yes. in any uh-uh. door no. he that we allow. No. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. And so I'll just no. put myself out there. You know, if you have something in your body, ask the Lord to reveal to you. Yes. Maybe there's some repentance needed. Yeah, um, a lot, you know. probably a lot of <laughs> You know, it's it's funny, this year ago when we started uh, into this supernatural journey, yeah. um, you look at people now and they talk to you, and you look at them totally differently. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You look at them yeah. now and go, hmm, yeah. who is that really yeah. talking to me? Oh, you know? man, yeah. I tell you, that's the biggest <laughs> learning curve that it I'm really still is. trying to figure yes, out. It is. Because you see such, you just see the bound. You see that they're bound. Mm -hmm. You see it so clearly. Right. And so they're wanting you to pet the symptoms still, and you're angry at the enemy in them. Uh And so the the Lord just helping you to know how to deal with that. Now, but with saying that, do y'all feel y'all can um, see the good more also? Oh, yeah, you can see good too. I see the power of God more. Yeah, I see the power of the anointing more than I ever did. That's what I was getting at. For sure, yeah, what what the anointing can do. I tell you what I see is um, with the sicknesses and things like that. um, Say, I'm I'm, I'm battling, someone says they're battling cancer. Man, let us pray. Right. Let us pray with you first. Right. You know, well, yeah, I know, but I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm going to go through all these treatments. I I realize you're going to do that. Right. I said, but let us pray first. Sure. You know, you know, we take had it to, take it to God first. Yeah, we had. Jesus listen, we had we had a person uh, who uh, had the parvo virus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, sure human did. being had yeah. a parvo virus, mm-hmm. and sure four did. people a year get that. They die. Mm-hmm. Everybody right. who gets that dies. Mm-hmm. And you was in the room. You yes. was in the room when we prayed yeah, for. Yeah, I, I heard about and, that. I sure was. And this person <laughs> was uh, supernaturally healed. Mm-hmm. But the spirit, the spirit, Christian woman. Come on, right. everybody, Christian, Christian woman. woman. Christian it, woman. It, it comes out nice. of her. Yeah. Yes. It comes out of her. She's set free. It was in the blood. In the it's blood. It, the yeah. spirit says, I am in her blood. Yes. The doctors had told her she had had 10 blood transfusions <gasps> in a year. Yeah. And yeah, she you said, pray and that yeah. You end. <clears throat> and surgery, pray before you go to surgery. Right. Well, yeah. see, and this, and, but see, here's the thing we found out that she was a, kidney pancreas transplant mm. yes yeah All and we found out some things going through that came mm-hmm. through the donor yes through the absolutely. Donor. And i mean this the body was just part absolute. was transplanted yeah, absolutely. into her absolutely and as you, she went through deliverance you can get a false hair you can get hair braid from human hair and the same thing yes. you guys i'm learning yeah, so yeah. much you yeah. can there get you a go. you can get a blanket from someone mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there's demons well, will attach well, themselves see, well, see, well, i don't think they have a problem with it with an object I mean, that's just, I mean, you know, witch doctors and their spears and all. I mean, I don't think they have a problem with that or a blanket or but a the, Ouija board. The, the, but the human part. Right. Yeah. The right. human body part or the blood transfusion. Yeah, right. It's true. They don't think nothing about it. Blood or covenant. Or blood Anytime in. you're bl- it's in listen, the blood. Listen, a tattoo, blood covenant. Uh-huh. If you're going to have surgery, you need to pray because you're shedding. Your blood is being shed. I am learning like this is just there's right. so much we don't Absolutely. even realize what we're opening right. up right. ourselves to right. that the Lord can protect us from. Right. But we just flippantly go yeah. about our lives. Go about it and not even mm-hmm. And you know us. one thing, the people that are listening to us are going, that, that, they're not. That, well, see, it is really supernatural. It's Wait really minute. supernatural. I was supposed to have done this here. Yeah. Y'all go ahead and talk a minute. I'm well, going if to they, if, if those I want to welcome Kim Meek. Oh, oh okay. To the, Kim. To the party, Kim. too. <laughs> hey, Kim. What's up? Well, if those people that I know I encounter often that think, you know, you loony or whatever, if my challenge is pray, get alone with God and pray and ask him, is this what they're saying for real? Right. Lord, would you reveal, I trust you, God. Maybe I don't know these folks, but I'm going to ask you, Lord, is this real? And mm-hmm. open the word and allow him to show right. you. Right, yeah, you know because he will. Them, he will. I tell him to come sit behind me when I pray yeah. for somebody right. and watch it. Then tell you it's not real. Tell it's not real. Just come sit with I open the door up to every person Hold the bucket listening. for me. Come, come yeah. right here with me. And we start. And you know, you're talking about the knee pain yeah. or people who have pain in their back. Mm-hmm. This is one that, I mean, they come to the altar and they'll say, I have pain in my back. I said, you ready? I said, Spirit of pain come out of this lower back. Next thing you know, they begin their eyes to get big. Mm-hmm. When the eye gets big, something's getting ready to happen. That's right. Next thing you know, whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they say, come out, you spirit of pain. And I got to check your back. And they go, oh, uh-huh. my back is all healed yes. and everything. Yes. I'm going, you know, so all these people have been praying all these years. And doctors have been adjusting them, twisting and pulling uh-huh. and all the what stuff. Moment. A spirit has entered into that right. back and settled right there. Right. Absolutely. And people just don't realize that that's the kind of things it's that they can be set free from. Y'all say hey to Rodney Soto. Hey, Rodney, hey, Rodney. Soto. He's my man. <laughs> so cool. <laughs>
So and anyway. once again, this uh, Facebook technology, uh, this is the first time we've used it. It's um, pretty awesome. Yeah, so far so good. Y'all please now, once, put comments in so we'll know that we're doing right, wrong. And, and once the whatever. show is over, the actual video will stay on my timeline. Oh, It'll really? stay there yeah. so you can wow. go back Facebook and watch live. it. Yes. Yeah. I so, follow a lot of people on oh. Facebook Live. Well, it's I, awesome. I, I, I had never seen that, yeah. and I watched, I think it was a Monday morning minute or something like uh-huh, that, uh-huh, and I watched uh-huh. them do it live. Uh-huh. It was awesome, and yeah. I was like, you feel like you're there because okay. okay. you are okay. here. Now, I'm going to do a 10-second count. Now, this, I was going to okay. do this at the beginning. Okay. Bring it into my new show. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a teaching lesson here, real quick. You okay. Ready for it? Go right we'll ahead. Do it in ten seconds. Here we go. Oh, let's do it. Nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five. It's coming. Okay. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna show you? Here's what it is. When you go to pray for somebody, mm-hmm. when you go to pray for someone, um, you go into the hospital, you're going to pray for them, here's what you need to say. In the name of Jesus, I command that there be no transfers uh-huh. of a spirit Absolutely. to me Absolutely. in any way whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Right. When yeah. I touch you, no. you cannot transfer into me. You That's hear right. me? Yeah. Yes. You cannot transfer into me That's in right. the name of Jesus. Yes. Because what will happen as soon as you touch them, yep. right, right. all of a sudden it's looking for a place. And the people go a just in and go. they go, I don't believe that. I'm going... That's the reason why we're trying to train you. Trying yeah. to tell you. Yeah, so that's that right. You, you know, and that's you right. look through the scriptures, talk that's about right. lay hands suddenly on no man. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I that's understand right. what he's talking about. Right. Prepare I understand what he's talking about as far as in the ministry mm-hmm. and setting someone forth. And right. I understand that. But it's there's there's layers of revelation, like yes. peeling an onion back. Yes, right. Absolutely. The, uh, of these kind of things the is, truth, is yeah. touching. Remember? When the woman came up to Jesus and touched the hem of his garment yes. in virtue, Let healing just, virtue, uh-huh. right. right? It can be the same way with, with the, a person who is right. that spirit that's there. Absolutely, and you can lay your hand on him yes. and touch him, and something yes. transfer. That's right. You know, I th- find myself doing that on Sunday mornings. You when go, go to the right. altar, yeah. and we're praying that's for somebody right. before I touch him. I'm like, that's Lord. Right. And also no spirits. retaliation. No I'll reta- also yes, say exactly. no retaliation, no retaliation. On your mind. Okay, uh-huh. now let me tell you this here. So you say no retaliation. So here I am. Uh, just a few days ago, and uh, we're praying for someone in the hospital, and, uh, and they said, pray for a spirit of fear, having a spirit of fear. Now, did, listen, we're at the hospital. The family believes. The person believes. I said, guard the door. That's right. It doesn't <laughs> lock. Go, guard I the, tried. I'm just Guard kidding. the door. Until, if my until, boss is watching. Yeah, don't let them in. Guard the door over there. So now we're praying over this thing, right? I said, you spirit of fear in the name of Jesus, you come out in the name of Jesus. And all of a sudden, of course, <coughs> Right, right. But we are yeah. used to people throwing up at the hospital. Oh, yeah, so. right. Yeah, but it's doing it like when we're praying for them. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of the you know, I do have that effect on some people. I do make sick like that, but it happens with these demons. Come out. Yeah. In the Any name comment, Gerald? Any comment at all on that? Wait a minute. i got one more thing. Let me finish up here. So we're talking about fear, transfer, want to transfer, yeah. or try to you, retaliation. Uh-huh. Okay? So here's what. As it's, it comes out, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, <coughs> it's wanting to say something. And uh, so what did you want to say with this thing coming? It wanted me to say this here to the pastor is that um, fear. This is fear. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got you on my checklist. <laughs> That's what fear would say. Exactly. Right. And does that make sense? That's, That's what not, fear would say. I, I've got you on my checklist mm-hmm. because it's trying, to, it's trying to intimidate yeah, brain right. fear. fear. Yeah. Trying to, I, in the name of Jesus, oh. get out of here in the name That's of Jesus. That's right. In the name of Jesus. You know I mean? So the thing is, is that mm. your retali- praying that retaliation yeah. and things like that is very appropriate. Very you cannot You cannot retaliate in the name of Jesus. Because I've encountered that. Listen, we had a lady we were praying for at the altar one Sunday. It was uh, me and the pastor and Sister Schaefer. And it was fear, if you remember. And we're sitting there, and he's calling up fear. And I'm sitting beside the woman, got the bucket, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, she goes. Uh, looking over at you. Mm-hmm. I recognize you. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oop. You know, I was like, <laughs> 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 This was in the beginning. I was like, oh. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, better to be recognized than right. to be the sons of Skeevo. That's, That's right. right. Who are you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> recognize but you the know, Jesus in you. We That's got about right. six minutes here before we got to finish this thing out. So when we talk about did the deliverance mm-hmm. in um, Good Friday and Passover. Yes. Do never, ever forget yes. that that's what Jesus came to do yes. was to deliver that's us it. from the powers of the enemy. Yes. Right. And just because you say, I'm a Christian, 
does not mean that he doesn't have influence over you. Over Absolutely. Over your spirit Mind, man. Over your body. spirit man, yeah. you're saved. Deal. But Amen. now you enter into a warfare. Yes. And you are able now to, uh, through the knowledge of the scriptures and what men has went on before us and how he, you know, and this year is a year of Jubilee. Yes. Mm-hmm. Started in September. September 2015 goes to October 2016. We are in the year of Jubilee. Praise it's the, the year of freedom. Of freedom. Yes. And yes. why has God raised up many Praise deliverance ministries? Over. Yes. It's all because over. God is wanting to deliver his people and tell the devil and put his foot on his neck and say, yes. turn my people loose. loose. Amen. So yes. In this year of freedom. Yes. In this year of freedom. Yes. Freedom. And, yes. and this is a divinely appointed time. Praise Absolutely. Lord. And most people have never, ever dealt with deliverance. Mm-hmm. Most pastors don't have a clue. Oh, yeah, I believe in deliverance. Well, you need to come sit with us. Yes. We'll show you some deliverance. Oh, right. Yeah. right. You know, and listen, you know, and we talk about that. Uh, talk about deliverance and people getting saved and baptized in the yes. Holy Ghost every week. Every week. Uh-huh. Every, week every week since week. January 1 of 2015. Praise every Lord. week. Saved, baptized in the Holy Ghost, and healed. Hmm. Sounds uh, like delivered. Acts. Yes. It sounds it's like been awesome. Yes. And, and, just this, and just this week today, I was over there cutting the grass at the church over there, and uh, they're in there praying. You know, God said, raise an army up. Raise, he said, build me an army. Yes. Get the people ready. The Get people ready. are not ready for what's. Pastors aren't ready for what's. What's, what's coming. He, he can't even help their own people. You know, so here's the mm. thing is. Uh, they're in there I pray for this young lady, and she receives the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, and we have over and over, over this past week, I don't know, three or four people just received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. I think we have communion Sunday night. Yes. We're having it communion. Awesome. Su- we're having communion Sunday night in the sanctuary, and people are over there in uh, the other room, and they're praying for them, whatever they need. Two of them got baptized in right. the Holy Ghost, Praise speaking in tongues. Yes. It's, this is not an uncommon That's thing. That's right. This it is a common, common thing, and it should yes. be happening in every All church. Normal. Every person in your church should be baptized yes. in the Holy Ghost, speaking yes. in tongues. Yes. Every person. Everybody. Normal Christianity. Children, too. Wait, yes. Everyone. Children, too. Yep. Yes. There we Absolutely. Go. Okay. Uh, brother, got an update here for us? Nope. No not more updates. All the same. All the All same. same. All right. Yeah. Gerald, go ahead. Hopefully, I'm enjoying it. Bring some sanity to what we're saying here. I guess we're all crazy together then, aren't we? That's right. We are. It's good Amen. to be among friends. Yes, yeah. it is. Right. Amen. Praise but yeah, Lord. I'm just glad. I'm just glad what we. I'm, I think tonight went really good, and this yes. was really an awesome show. And uh, April, we really enjoyed uh, you come out and share with us. I'm privileged and humbled to be here. Yeah, that's because two, even that's even two peas of the pod right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my friend. The devil's with a, the, uh, a ex- demon's nightmare right there. Even <laughs> with the example thing, I I I, got, I know what I got. I got some work to do. I got homework out of this out of this because right. uh, even, so even with some of the people that I know that I I'm, I'm actually close to them and I've seen, you know, and that relationship between rejection, yeah, I know yes. what to do with the rejection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know how we can deal right. with that if they're having problems with skin problems right. and that sort of thing. So that's that's Acne. wonderful. There's all kinds. I've got a list of sicknesses, and it shows a tie to emotion. Yes. Like Amen. We get clo- Are we winding down? Uh-huh. No. I'm no. going to tell you Revelation. Oh, and y'all probably already know this here. <laughs> uh, but uh, why uh, eczema and rejection together? Why together? It's, it's, that's a good it's one. It's an outward. It's a physical, physical. Outward. But it causes people. To, to reject, reject yeah, her. It, it right? Goes that, that, it, it, Isn't yeah, that ooh, amazing? Same exactly. With I'm talking. That's the revelation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. No, I'm talking. It came to me. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I never. I, I didn't think of it that way. But lips. yes, exactly. So yeah. that spirit of reject. You yeah. understand mm-hmm. what I mean? Sure. Like yeah. If someone looks at, oh, I don't yeah. want to be around that. Don't touch that. There's the rejection. Yeah. He's at rejection. With the knees, knee pain, it can relate to. That's right. That's right. Take a second. I'm on. I'm gonna shut Facebook down. Just want to thank everybody for listening. Love you. Watching. Appreciate it so much. And um. Hopefully we'll get better at this. So yeah, this has been fun. Yeah. You know, I was two minutes. I know we've got two minutes. I'm gonna say this real quickly. Today, um, I had the opportunity to pray with a, a a client of mine, and God here lately has been bringing um more and more people to me, Praise taking Lord. me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, and uh, it's been good. But I had a lady today that was gonna come in and get her hair done, and she Thank called you. me. She was crying just totally distraught and she said dane i can't come today i've had pneumonia i've been sick my daughter won't talk i mean she was just on and on and on and i and she was one of those and i'll just be honest with you one of those kind of clients that sometimes rubs you the wrong way mm-hmm. so in my flesh i was saying well good i don't got to deal with that mm-hmm. today mm-hmm. and then the lord spoke to me and said you better pray for her mm-hmm. for you hang up that phone mm-hmm. and i called her name i said can i pray for you she said and she started booking would you please anyway mm-hmm. i prayed for her about an hour later, the phone rang, and she come back. She said, 
I think I can come in and get my hair done today. Wow. Is that okay? And I and so I had a two hour session with her of, of you know, and I felt so humbled and 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 yeah, thank an God door. for the, you know an open door. Yes. And I gave her my cell phone number and I said, "You call me anytime." Yeah, it gets you exhilarating. Need, it, it does. It really it's, does. It's frightening at first, but then you get kind of hooked on going and yes. reaching and yeah, you know that's exciting there you go okay awesome. well, i know we're running out of Praise time so Lord. i just wanted to personally thank you april thank for coming you. out tonight we're going to do this again thanks for having thank me you, april. definitely gonna thanks, do it april. Again. thank y'all go ahead you got to say a goodbye here for us. all right see you guys later have an awesome night and get out there and preach to the world happy passover bye happy easter god bless you i want to thank you for tuning in tonight and make sure you go to youtube uh, subscribe us there and uh, i've been your host uh, henry schaefer god bless you and thank you for another attending another episode of It's Really Supernatural. I'm Henry Schaefer, and I want to thank you for listening to It's Really Supernatural program. Now tune in next week for more Acts of the Holy Spirit.